Hello everyone, welcome to Example of Physics. Here we learn concepts by solving questions. If you have any doubt in any question, you can send us through our telegram channel link to which is given in the description section. If you like our videos, please share it with your friends and family members and help us to grow. The question which we are dealing today is related to vertical circle. I have already made few videos on vertical circular motion and the link to those videos will be given in the description section too. Let's see the today's question. In today's question, we have a ball of mass m is rotated in a vertical circle with constant speed. So the speed is constant everywhere on this circle, wherever the mass is. The difference in tensions at the bottom and horizontal position would be so we need to find the difference in the tensions at the bottom position, the bottom position being this position and horizontal position. Horizontal position can be this position or this one. So I am going to take this position as horizontal position. Both are going to be the same. Now, the tension is always acting towards the center. The tension acts as centripetal force here. So, in order to differentiate both the tensions, I will take this as two positions, the bottommost position as A and the horizontal position as B. So, the tension due to the bottommost position TA and tension due to the horizontal position TB. Now, the forces experienced by the mass are due to its weight that is mg which is always acting towards the center of the earth downward. The other forces are due to the circular motion the body experiences centrifugal force which is equal to mv square by r. V, we are assuming the velocity of the body and the V is constant everywhere as the body is moving with constant speed. So, I will write the centrifugal force as mv square by r which is always acting outward mv square by r. r being the radius of the vertical circle. Now, we can write the expression for TA and TB. So, the expression for TA and TB are first of all, let us write for TA. TA is balancing the net downward force that is mg minus plus mv square by r. Now, for tension TB, TB is balancing only one force that is mv square by r centrifugal force. Now, the difference between Ta and Tb is equal to mg plus mv square by r minus mv square by r, Tb being mv square by r. So, these two terms become 0. So, the net difference in the tensions is equal to mg. So, Ta minus Tb is equal to mg and that is the solution for the question. So, the correct option is option 4. Now, let us go to the next question. In this question, a ball of mass m is rotated with initial speed sufficient to complete vertical circular motion. The difference in tensions at the bottom and horizontal positions would be, so the options are 6mg, 5mg, 3mg and mg. And here we are not given any initial velocity and like the previous question, let us take the positions, the bottommost position as A and the velocity at A is sufficient enough so that the body moves 
in a complete vertical circle and the velocity be v a. So we already know the tension towards the center T a is going to be equal to m g plus m v a square by r here r being the length of the string or the radius of vertical circle. Now let us go to the next position. The next position is the horizontal position and the forces acting here are the tension towards the center acting as centripetal force which is equal to Tb as I am denoting this position as B. The velocity of the body is going to be tangential here and the velocity let me write it as Vb then centrifugal force is m v b square by r the other force acting on the mass is m g now we can write the expressions for tension and before that let us find out relation between v a and v b and for that let us use the concepts of work energy and power now when the body is at A, that is the bottom most point, the body only possesses the kinetic energy. So, the total energy is only kinetic energy and since it is a position A, let us write it as Tea and equal to Kea. The formula for kinetic energy is half m v square. So, v is v a, so half m v a square. So, this is the total energy at A. T A looks like T. Now, at B, total energy at B is combination of kinetic energy at B as well as potential energy at B because it has been raised from the ground by certain height. So, kinetic energy's formula is half m v, v square that is v b square and potential energy is m g into height. The height raised by the body from its initial position is the length. Hence, height is equal to L. So, this is total energy at B. And now, if we use conservation of energy, principle of conservation of energy, then total energy at A should be equal to total energy at B. Total energy at A is half mVA square and total energy at B is half mVB square plus mGL. If I multiply 2 on both sides, I get mva square equal to mvb square plus 2 mgl. This is very important relation we have gained. mva square is equal to mvb square plus 2 mgl. If you are noting this, you can pause the video anytime in order to note it. Now, we have found out relation between V A and V B. Now, what is the equations for tensions? Equations for tensions are, I can write T A is equal to M G plus M V A square by R very important expression and 
एट बी टी बी इज इक्वल टू एम वी बी स्क्वायर बाई आर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर बी सो वी हैव टेंशन टी ए एंड टी बी रिलेशन बिटवीन वी ए एंड वी बी लेट्स मेक सम स्पेस फॉर डूइंग दी फर्दर पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन Let's make some space here. All the important relations are on the screen. So, what are what are what is required here? The difference in tensions. So, I am going to write T A minus T B. T A is equal to M G plus M. Va square by R minus m Vb square by R. Here, from this relation, we can write mg plus m Va square is equal to m Vb square plus two mg L divided by R. This L is I have uh, written for radius. the radius is same as the length this length r is equal to the radius i just sometimes keep keep interchanging r and l i hope that's not a matter here so i will change it to l there sometimes i forget and I write both r and l and there is no need for get no need of getting confused over there so this is mg r Or M G L both are same. Minus M V B square by R. So here M G plus M V B square by R minus two M G minus M V B square by R. So here M V B square by R and M V B minus M V B square by R becomes zero. so we are left with mg plus 2mg that is 3mg so this is what we are required to find out that is the difference in the tensions the tension at the bottom most point that is ta is going to be greater than the any other point so ta minus tb is equal to 3mg the correct option is option 3 So I hope you are enjoying this video. We have more questions coming. So the next question is: A one kg ball is rotated in a vertical circle using a string of length zero point. Here, the length of the string is zero point one meter. If the tension in the string at the lowest point is here, the tension is twenty nine point four newtons, then its angular velocity at this position here, its angular velocity, let us take it as omega. At the lowest position, that is at this position, we have to find out. The options are seven radians per second, fourteen radians per second, three point five radians per second. And twenty five point six radians per second. Let us find out what are the forces acting on the mass at the bottommost point. We have already solved so many questions, and we can write it easily. The forces are mg plus mv square by r. Here I am going to write the centrifugal force that is mv square by r in a different way. that since the equation requires angular velocity the relationship between velocity and angular velocity is v is equal to r omega so the expression becomes m instead of v i can write r omega whole square divided by r so we get m r square omega square by r that is m r omega square
So this e e tension I can write it as mg plus m omega square into r. Now we know the tension towards the top the tension towards the center is T. So, T is equal to mg plus m v square by r or since we need angular velocity <coughs> mg plus m omega square r both are same expressions. Now, how much is tension? Tension given in the equation is 29.4. So, 29.4 is equal to masses. Mass given in the equation is 1 kg. So, that is to make the calculation simpler. G is 9.8 meter per second square. Since its value is not mentioned as 10, we will take 9.8. Plus M is 1 kg. Omega we are supposed to find out and radius is 0.1. So, what do we have now? 29.4 minus 9.8 is equal to 1 into omega square omega square into 0 0.1, 0 0.1 omega square. 4 minus 8, that is 14 minus 8 is 6. 8 minus 9, 18 minus 9 is 9. And 1. So, 19.6 is equal to 0.1 omega square. So, omega square is equal to 19.6 divided by 0 0.1 that is 196. Here we can clearly write omega is equal to root of 196 which is equal to 14 radians per second. So, this is our final result, 14 radians per second. I hope you have enjoyed all the questions which we have done today and this must have boosted a concept regarding vertical circular motion. If you have any doubt in any question, you can send that to through our telegram channel. We will try to solve the question as fast as possible or we will come up with a video solution. Please share this video with your friends and family members and we are soon going to reach 500 subscribers. Though this milestone we are taking lot of time because of time constraint I am not able to make much videos but I am constantly available in solving questions. Let us grow together you in the concept we as a YouTube channel. We will meet in another video with many more questions until then bye bye.